Hello and welcome to Europa Universalis for the first Paradox game I ever played. But today we're going to be doing something very different from what I was used to doing in this game. And that is playing as not the Papal States, but the PayPal States, or the PayPal State, however you want to put it. Uh, so usually there's like a cardinal system, but today people are going to be investing in our company, they're going to be buying shares of the business, and then just hoping and praying that someone from their country gets to be the CEO of PayPal. Yes, it's quite glorious. This is what's gonna happen today. Eventually, pe other rival companies will start popping up, but right now, everybody is Catholic, which is an acronym for countries that admired the Holy Order of PayPal. Yeah, that's that's what it stands for. Uh, but yeah, soon countries will start being will start dissenting and then a 30 years thing will start and uh, things might not go so well. But for now, we're fine. We'll get this guy. We'll try to unite Italy under our capitalistic online currency exchange network. It's probably best that we get France as our ally and we can start off by offering them an alliance, even though they're going to war with Britain soon, or England at this point. But we'll help them out there, get some favors, and then they can help us, you know, take Naples and stuff. Uh, let's hope we get a good general. Oh wait, yeah, we don't want to go to 100% influence on them. That was a bad idea, I shouldn't have been nice to them. Well, we got a good admiral, at least that's something, and we'll just buy our own general and hope they're good. Oh, that's the worst general I've ever seen. Oh. Oh, I, I, I actually think that's the worst general I've ever seen in this game. That's so bad. We're, we're wasting more. Okay, this guy is still kind of bad, but like, too, too maneuvered. Does, does it even, I didn't even know they could get that bad. That's so bad. I have a bad taste in my mouth from seeing that. That's just so terrible. And why is Lithuania rivaling us? And we became the PayPal controller, or the CEO of PayPal again, so I guess that's convenient. After this time, another country will definitely seize the opportunity to become the CEO of PayPal. Hopefully France, because uh, France is probably going to be our ally for as long as possible. There's a chance they tried to get into Savoy and maybe take some of our rightful territory, but we can hope not. They're allied with Savoy too, so we'll probably be the ones that have to betray France to attack Savoy. And hopefully France breaks their alliance with Provence. It usually happens pretty early on, and then we can take this, and France can take this, and then everybody can be happy. Okay, and here it is. England has declared war. Let's hope France doesn't get involved in any other wars, because uh, it seems like Burgundy usually takes this to declare war on France, and we should be able to get an alliance with Castile soon also. They might help us attack Aragon before they eventually get the free PU on them. There, we got the free military access through everybody. And I guess the three maneuver is nice because we can travel, like, pretty much instantly. Okay, 7% participation. From what I can tell, and from my experience with the game, we don't actually need to get too much participation to get enough favors to call them into a war. Oh, and look, there's an alliance with Castile. So hopefully this war ends before they get the PU on Aragon, and then we can declare war on Aragon to get Naples. Oh, and we trained and got another skill into Siege. That's perfect. Siege is exactly what we were missing. The luck is truly with the PayPal states. I'm, I'm usually not that lucky in this game. We'll have to actually probably declare the war on Aragon, just because our allies don't like distant wars, and Naples is pretty distant to them, so I'll actually fabricate the claim over here randomly. <laughs> and of course, this, this always happens. Burgundy declared war on France. Well, they actually declared war on Provence, and then France accepted the call to arms, so that means England is, yeah, they're now landing. This always happens every time. The exact same thing happens. Burgundy always goes to war, and then England decides to actually bring in an army. Oh, nice! They actually, they actually peaced out. <laughs> oh, well, I guess, I guess I was kind of wrong. And unfortunately, we can't do much in northern Italy for now without provoking Austria and their many, many allies. So, yeah, well, we we really only we have very limited options of where to expand. Oh, actually, we can now declare war on Provence, and they won't call on France. I might want to wait until Provence's other allies decide to, you know, 
not call, get called in too, because then that could be a really easy conquest of Provence and this other place. Yeah, because that's really our only option to expand. It's there in Naples, really. Okay, I think this is going to be the best opportunity we'll ever get to go to war with Provence, so let's declare this. We can hurry and siege down Ferrara, and then from there we can go to Provence after we peace out with them. Oh, and Brittany's at war with Provence too, oh no. Hmm, we actually could take this. Wait, could we just... No, that, that's way too much aggressive expansion, but we could take this. It's from a non-co-belligerent and in the HRE, but it is really tempting just to take this. Yeah, I'll take it. We have strong allies. We could deal with the coalition. Oh, France is kind of friendly towards Aragon. This isn't good. I hate it when this happens. Castile can't be friendly. Yes, Castile's rivaled with them, so they'll probably join once the favors. Yeah, once we have favors or if we offer them land, they'll join. So hopefully we can end this war soon. The main reason we can't end it is because their capital is sieged down by Brittany. We can take our stuff. It'll only cause a small coalition. And then we're gonna start trying to take stuff from Naples too. We'll just wait a few years so the aggressive expansion can go down just, just a little bit and then we can take our claims. Now no coalition can form against us. We'll just take a ton of money. Maybe war reps, even though they'll probably get annexed, so, but that's the best we can do. There. Why is Hungary our rival? Can we, like, excommunicate them or something for that? There, yeah, you get excommunicated. That's what you get for rivaling us. Wait, wait a second, I just realized we're, we're the PayPal state. So what does excommunicate? We're, so excommunicate is obviously they're kicked out and they can no longer transfer funds through PayPal. Yeah, that's what it means. That's what it means in this timeline, okay? They, they have no access to PayPal. They're kicked out of the network. No one can transfer funds with them. Everybody hates them. It's annoying. <laughs> okay, we upgraded our center of trade in Rome, and soon enough we'll be able to upgrade the one here too, so we can keep collecting more and more trade in Genoa. It's nice to be right here in such a good trade node. The PayPal states needs a good, you know, source of passive income from trade. Oh, and our decently okay kind of leader left us. Wait, can we can we just get one from the nobility? Yeah. Was this guy good? Oh, well, that this guy's better than the last one at 33 at 3320. I would have preferred at least one siege point. And Aragon unrightfully holds Italy, so they're kicked off of the network too. They don't get to make easy transactions. Oh, if we declare war against Naples, Savoy joins. And France does, doesn't does have the friendly penalty, but they still have the long distance penalty. So we've integrated Urbino too, which is a nice step in the right direction. We're slowly growing. I think our next opportunity for expansion might be Venice. They're getting sieged down by rebels. Ah, too high taxes. It's hard to hear when the citizens rage against the raised taxes. Yeah, 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 whatever. Say what, we cannot hear you. Of course we can't hear you. Why? The leaders and heirs in both Castile and Aragon are all male right now, so I'm not too worried about the PU. So I think I'll just do a war against Venice. Ah, oh, well... I keep forgetting that Arag Aragon's an ally. I don't want a truce with Aragon. But I, ha I think I have to break the alliance between them before I can reasonably attack Aragon. Because going after Aragon, Venice, and Austria at the same time just doesn't seem feasible. That seems like that's a little too out there. Savoy, what happened? <laughs> what, what? Savoy, how did you... How? I was your ally. Why didn't I get called into this ordeal? Where, did you get this annexed in a separate war? That's a lot of aggressive expansion. Kind of feel bad calling you into this war because you're obviously not like ready for it, but... Okay, time to stack wipe Naples. Or not stack wipe. That was close though. Oh, wait a second. Ah. Thank you, Ottomans. I think France is attached to this. No, they're not. Only if they would. If I join this battle, France will join it, right? <laughs> right? Yeah, yeah. No, how did we lose? That's ridiculous, no. I really don't want to have to destroy my economy by buying mercenaries just yet. I'm not ready for this. I've never seen them, like, be been so taken over by, like, rebels before. But yeah, we should be able to beat them on our own. I at least want to siege down my claim before the Ottomans or someone else gets it. We can almost get them to end their alliance with Austria. If we hurry and siege down everything else in Naples, we should be able to. 
Yeah, there, and we can probably take some money, too. Yeah, there's no way we can break that, though. They have 20 galleys. Venice's navy just makes taking this impossible in the early game. Unless you're the Ottomans, but... Yeah. Oh, we're actually really close to being able to peace out for this. That's quite the coalition. It, well, it's not very much. Venice can't join because they have a truce, and Austria is the only other real threat, and we have Castile and France's allies, so that's nice. This actually has gone uh, pretty well. We haven't been able to strike at Aragon quite yet, but besides that, it's so good that we can't- we have too much aggressive expansion that even if we could, I wouldn't, so... Oh, well, that's interesting. The PayPal states are rising. This is this is great. I thought this was just being a meme, but I actually kind of did okay. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed. If you if you did, remember to like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. <laughs>